post-COVID, there's been a lot of talk about decoupling, about de-risking, but most of the projects, as I understand it, are co-financed with either the Asia Development Bank or the World Bank. How important is having this multilateral culture to fostering global growth? And do some of these trends I was just talking about and the geopolitical tensions impact that? You see, uh, I don't think people should exaggerate the geopolitical tensions that much. Uh, countries, even the big powers in this world, have a lot of common ground to cover. Uh, as you see, uh, ever since the bank was up and running, we have financed more than $50 billion to the Asians and non-Asian countries to deal with their poverty reduction, connectivity, and help these countries be integrated into the regional and global uh, economy. And we have financed about 50% of this $25 billion co-financing with the World Bank, ADB, EBRD, who are the major partners for us, on the basis of the shared responsibility. I just want to talk about US-China relations. Of course, there's a lot of global uncertainty at the moment. Uh, there is that election that is happening at the end of the year. Uh, is that impacting your work at all? You see, uh, the bank uh, is a multilateral development bank, uh, and this bank is inclusive. We welcome all of the uh, countries who are the members of the World Bank and ADB, and of, of course, who are all the members of the IMF. Uh, we work together as a team. Now, uh, for various reasons, uh, United States and Japan are not members, but that does not exclude uh, preclude AIB from working with the U.S. business communities, with uh, our communication with the U.S. governmental institutions. So we've been working very well, and this bank is also providing huge opportunities to the American professionals working in this institution. We have quite a lot of senior people who are American nationals, and we work with the U almost all of the major U.S. financial institutions. And we encourage U.S. businesses, real sector businesses, to participate in the international competitive bidding.